So now I'm going to teach you how to read the time either by using the clock or by seeing your watch. All of us love to wear fancy watches. Watches with a Barbie girl or we have Benton watches. We have different types of watches. But do we wear a watch only for show? No, we need to know how to read the time. So we have a beautiful clock. It is in the shape of a ladybug and we have different colors it has it is black red and the numbers have different colors and we have the small handle which is the hour handle and the big handle which is the minute handle so the small and the small hand of the clock the small hand or it is the it shows the hour and the big hand that shows us the minute so the small hand this small hand shows us the R this shows us the R and this is the big hand that shows us the minute so since we have already learnt counting in fives and the five time table, we will be able to read the time. So now when we come to one, it becomes, we say it is five. It is five. For two, it is ten. For three, it will be fifteen. For four, it will be 20 for 5 it will be 25 for 6 it will be 30 for 7 35 for 8 it is 40 for 9 it is 45 for 10 it is 50 for 11 it is 55 and for 12 it is 60 so these are the minutes so now we are going to see the R and so when the big hand points to 1 we say when the big hand points to 1 and the small hand points to 12 then we say it is 1 o'clock so when the small hand points to 1 and the big hand points to 1 we say it is one o'clock when the small hand points to two and the big hand points to twelve then we say the time is two o'clock when the big hand when the small hand points to three and the big hand points to twelve then we say the time is three o'clock when the small hand points to four and the big hand points to twelve then we say the time is four o'clock when the small hand points to 5 and the big hand points to 12, then we say the time is 5 o'clock. When the small hand points to 6 and the big hand points to 12, then we say the time is 6 o'clock. When the small hand comes to number 7 and the big hand is at 12, then we say the time is 7 o'clock. When the small hand comes to 8, and the big hand points to 12 then we say the time is 8 o'clock when the small hand points to 9 and the big hand points to 12 we say the time is 9 o'clock when the small hand moves to 10 and the big hand points to 12 we say the time is 10 o'clock when we move to when the small hand moves to 11 and the big hand points to 12 then we say we read the time as 11 o'clock and when both the hands the small and the big hand point towards 12 we say it as 12 o'clock so these are the hands of the clock and the numbers so we are at 1 o'clock 2 o'clock 3 o'clock 4 o'clock 5 o'clock 6 o'clock 7 o'clock 8 o'clock 9 o'clock 10 o'clock 11 o'clock and 12 o'clock so this is how you read the time on the clock 
by using the small hand which shows the hour and the big hand that shows the minute.